welcome to the sixth part of our Pokemon Go clone. In this part we will create the map. This map is a lot different from the original Pokemon Go map. And this map will be a bit clunky. But for now uh, we'll use this one and maybe in another episode I'll recreate the normal one better. So start off by creating a new folder. Then create a new script called Town Manager. So let's go to Mono Develop. And let's start off by creating some a settings class. This will be just so useful for later. So public class settings. And we'll have to do a lot of serialized fields. So serialized field will be best if you just copy this this uh, serialized field line and then create a public material material and then we'll create a public int which we'll call it soon and this standard 18 and we'll create a public int for the size which will be standard 640 and then we'll create a public float skill which is standard 1f then we'll create a public string for the key and then we'll create a public string for the style which will be standard emerald Okay, then once you've done that, be sure you've put serializable on top of this. If you don't have this, you must add these using ones. If you don't have these added yet, you can't have the serializable. So then, once you have that, let's go and create some more variables. So, variables. So, we'll start off by creating a serialized field again. And then say private settings underscore settings. Then we'll create a another serialized field, which then will be private texture 2D texture. And then we'll also create a private game object, which will be called tile. And then we'll create couple of floats, private float, lat and loom. And once you have that, we can go to our start function. So we'll change our start function from void to IE numerator. And then we'll say while wow, we'll create a while loop. We'll say while wow, input that location that is enabled by user so if it's not used we'll check and check again if it's not used so wait for seconds and a one f check every second if it's turned on again then we'll say input the location that start now we'll first say 10 f which is the standard and then we'll want to change it every 5f so wait wait if the difference is 5f it will change the location lost data now we'll create an integer we'll call it max weight we'll say it to 20 and then we'll create a while loop so if input dot location dot status equals location surface status dot initializing and max weight is greater than, than zero then we'll say yield ooh, another return weight for second yield return new weight for seconds one f and i'll say max weight minus minus then if the max weight is less than one 
then you will say yield break. This is when we can't connect to the GPS surface. And it's timed out and it took longer than 20 seconds. Then we'll create a input, an if statement with input.location.status equals location surface that fill. So if it's filled after that, then we'll break it too. And then if it's not filled, so else, we have successfully connected. And then we'll say our let is input dot location dot less data dot latitude and our run is input dot location dot less data dot longitude. And then we'll say and then we will create another IE numerator. We'll call this load tiles with the parameters int zoom int wait just int zoom and then we'll say in our start IE numerator after the else we'll say start coroutine load tiles and then with our settings but zoom okay so once you have that we'll create another while loop to check if the surface is still running so if a location that is enabled by user then say yield return so we'll check every second if it's still on if it's not when the while loop cancels we'll say yield return start coroutine and I'll just activate our start function again, like that. Okay, so let's go to the tiles. For the tiles, we'll have to create a string. So let's, oh, wait, we'll just change the lat and longitude first. So let is input dot location dot less data dot latitude. And our lon is input dot location dot less data dot longitude and then we'll say string o is string dot format and then the link is https double dot slash slash api dot mac map box dot com slash v4 slash mapbox dot and then we'll, we'll create a bracket and we'll say 5 then another slash then 0 another slash then 1 oh wait after the 0 slash uh, sl 0 bracket we'll create a comma 1 comma two slash three slash oh x three then add two x dot png then a question mark and then axis underscore token is brackets four and then comma loan let zoom size key and style Ooh. come on auto correct and style Okay, before this we have to say of course settings dot, so I'll just copy that and paste it everywhere, settings dot, settings dot, and settings dot zoom, 
Oh wait, you don't have to. Okay, so what we have now is we'll create an URL, uh, a string with these values right here. It's very useful. And then after we have created the URL, we'll say www www w is new www oh URL and then we'll wait until the URL has loaded so use return w w w and then we'll say texture is www dot texture so once we have that we'll create a tile so if tile equals null so if it doesn't exist yet it's the first time we'll say tile is game object dot create primitive and then primitive type dot plane then we'll say the tile name I'll well, say tell the transform that local scale is factor tree dot one times our settings dot scale. Then we'll say tell dot get component renderer and then dot material is our settings dot material. And then our tell the transform the parent is this transform and then after the if, if statement we'll say tell the cat component renderer that material that main texture is our texture and then we'll just return yield return new wait for seconds 1f and then we'll start this uh, coroutine again. So yield return start coroutine and load tiles with the parameter settings that soon. Okay, so once you have that, we can get ourselves a key and fill the info in. So let's start by creating a new game object. We'll call it Style manager, add a script to it. Cannot, oh wait, we got an error, constant value A and cannot look for the zoom in. Okay, let's go. Because I've put an F behind it, so that will fix it. So as you can see, we created a settings. I will create first a new material. I've already created one. It will just be normally you will just create a material and maybe set it to unlit and color it to white and put the material here. Then to get our key, we will have to go to a website called Mapbox. So register an account at mapbox.com slash studio and then once you have done that you can copy your key here and put it right here. It's a very long key. Okay, so I made a little error. Uh, which are material, be sure it's on unlit texture instead of color. I had it on color before, and if you have it on color, it will just be a white plane. So you want to change it to texture. Then in your style manager, if you want an, an other style instead of emerald, go to your browser, go to staticmapmaker.com slash mapbox, and then just put your uh, API token here and you can change the mapbox style to either dark, light, just the ones that is in raster. If you have outside of it like bright or for example, it will put a tag like mapbox and otherwise open street map. And to be honest, I don't think that's really nice. So I think it's better to just use the light, the raster fringe, uh, the rest ones instead of the factor ones and then once you have that you can just build it uh, you might want to change your camera to 90 degrees on the X and then 
180 degrees on the Y for the good rotation to save the scene and then build it for your phone and it will work. So see you guys later. If it doesn't if it doesn't li like work, just put your comment. Just please comment with what your problem is and I'll try to help you. So see you guys later. See you guys till next.